Hello, and welcome back to the Cove with more Battletech. Alright, time to launch this contract. We are going on a Titan Assault mission sort of thing. Uh, so, let's go ahead and make sure that we're bringing out a good team. So, this is a base defense. There's meant to be an assault mech in the area at least. So, what we're going to do is we're going to definitely bring Rannick and our Sniping Marauder. That is definitely key. I think we'll also bring... We want do we want to bring our Orion LRM? Yes, I think that would be good for any support. Um, some good fire support would be useful. Now the question is, do we still want the quick draw? 60 tons. What other options do we have? We do have an awesome, so you know what? We're defending a base. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop the quick draw. And let's go ahead and pull out the heaviest tonnage we have. Yeah, uh, I think that's pretty good. All right, Angel, you've got the pool and vent as well, which should be good in case we get a little bit hot there. Uh, multi shots and all of that. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So, uh, oh, actually, the question is, do we want the Warhammer or the Awesome to go first? We may switch this between the two of us. Uh, oh no, never mind. I was thinking that we got the extra initiative boost, which we do not. Alright, so you know what? Uh, we'll go this way. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and deploy Spymaster, Headhunter, myself, and Angel. Let's roll. Alright, I am uh, very keen to see what this mission does entail. I am uh, very keen to try out this Titan attack. And, uh, yeah, I'm uh, very keen to see if we can get another, another Salt Mac. That would be very nice. And even better if they decide to give us two, that would be even better. Alright, so objective, defend the listening post. Nice and simple. And uh, I think that should be easy enough. We have an urgent assignment that we'd like your assistance with, Commander. We have a secret listening post here on Appian, and, we, and we've just learned the local government agents have discovered the base's location. We need time to transmit all the data we've gathered to a dropship in orbit, but they're already advancing on the facility. Worse, we're detecting an engine signature from an assault class mech, closing on the base's location. We need you to drop immediately and protect that base until we can get the data transmitted. Alright, Oliveira, what are your thoughts? We're going to keep an assault mech from destroying a facility without any ground intel. Seems like a really terrible idea, Commander. Well, it may be a terrible idea a in principle, but it gives us a mech. That's what we want. Alright, Maya, are you picking up that assault mech they said would be here? No. I'm wait. There it is. That's big. How the hell are we supposed to keep that from blowing? Hmm. Engage it and keep it. Uh, Darius, you're not going to like this. I'm detecting two assault engine signatures. Oh, well, happy days. Maybe we can get through. Are you going to be kidding me? Yeah. Well, he's going to have a fun time when we piece these things back together. All right. So, let's scroll on out. Let's check out the terrain. First of all, we have very close to the map border here. So, we're not going to really have to worry about too much from this side, I think. It's possible, though. They have to uh, funnel through this area there. That's not terrible. They can't shoot at us from the water unless they've got LRMs. And then over here, let's see. We do have a road that comes all the way up there. Okay, so we have a pretty good position on things. Let's, uh, let's figure out what we want to do. First of all, I reckon we go... We'll sprint across and pick up a little bit of evasion. Stay in the trees. See if we can see anything. In fact, uh, I think we'll go... Yeah, let's go ahead and just move one base over. Just to make sure that we're not... Aye, aye. Doing uh, anything too bad. Alright, uh, Headhunter, we're going to keep you nice and propped up over... With the high ground, so let's go ahead and spread you out over there. No problem, on my way. All right, uh, we have the Warhammer. Let's go. Now, where do we want to move? I think we'll probably move up over here. In fact, uh, 
Yeah, we're gonna bring ourselves the full full way forwards. And the awesome. Uh let's go. Let's go over here. There we go. We can get a little bit of cover. Moving out. Now I believe we have done one of these base defense missions before, and after we take on the Vanguard, they will use some sense uh not sensors, they will send in reinforcements from the other side. So we do have to be aware that we have two fronts to fight upon. But first, one thing at a time, we have a locust. Alright, first shot, nothing too crazy. Second, we have a Jenna and a spider. Alright, we should be able to make quick work of this. No signs of the assault mech, but that's going to take a little bit of time to get to us. After all, it is a very heavy thing. Now, this is on fire. Will that continually start burning down? I don't know. So, we can lose three buildings, technically. But if we can keep them all alive, we do get an extra payday. Okay. Actually, I'm beginning to question. We get to. I don't remember being able to choose the amount of salvage. Did we already negotiate that before we got here? Hmm. All right. Well, unfortunately, we haven't been able to uh, play with that, or at least uh, not from what I remember from it yesterday. Sorting things out. So, uh, what do we want to do? What's up, boss? Uh, right, we have LRMs available to us. We should probably use them. But who would we want to attack? We do have a... We do have a Locust, which we could probably take out. Possibly Spider or the Jenna. You know what? Waiting for orders. He has positioned himself. He's sucked away. I think we should be able to melee the Locust. Yeah, so let's go Headhunter. Yes, the Marauder should be strong enough that we should be able to get a swing on this thing. How do we... No, we can fire. That's not what we're after. We're after a melee. No. Okay, so for some reason this does not seem to want to allow me to melee. Which seems a little bit peculiar if you ask me, because normally what we do is we have the movement, and then we are able to select who we wish to melee. And the quick key for selecting a melee target does not exist. Okay, so I guess the game's either bugged or it's an issue with the terrain, and we wouldn't have the viable uh, spot to pack. So since that is the case, uh, let's go ahead and... I don't know, take a shot against the Locust. Get that over and done with. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think we may just stay where we are. You know what? Uh, yeah, let's just stay where we are. We'll take a shot on maybe one of these other ones. That's a little bit easier to hit. We do get 95% with the small lasers and 50s. We do get better odds on the Spider... And, yeah, not as good on the Jenna, so I suppose do we want medium lasers or more. I think the Jenna should be fairly... You know what? Let's not use Rannick. Let's use Spymaster instead. We'll use the LRMs. Burn down a little bit of evasion. So what we're going to do is... I think we're going to stay where we are, but we're going to go with a multi-target. And we're going to tag each one of these so they try to focus on us instead of instead of everybody else. So, we're going to go ahead and multi-target you. If uh, we can. We should actually have the ability to do this. Why is that not working? Oh, we only have direct line of sight on you at the moment and nothing on there. That seems really odd. It looks like the game's bugged there. We should be able to fire from this. Oh no, we need to change our angle. Okay. Never mind. I am figuring it all out. Let's go ahead and rotate around. We'll stay in the trees. Let's go ahead and multi-target. We'll go one over here, one over there, and you on C. 
Unfortunately, our lasers can only go against B, so let's send one here and one there. Burn down a little bit of evasion and to see if we can do anything that way. On it. But at least we have at least we have tagged everybody. So that will be the objective. And oh, we got a leg destroyed. A critical hit. Well, isn't that just nice? Okay. You know what? I think we have a target for the Marauder. We're going to go ahead and go for the headshot since we get a free precision strike. Oh, they're coming on in. LRMs against the building. It only looks to be like maybe an LRM 5. That was not a particularly heavy hit. So, Receiving you. we'll figure that out. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and see... We position ourselves here, 95%, that's pretty good against that. Uh, no sign of shots on the Big Mac. 28 resolve. Yeah, I suppose we'll go ahead and move on here. On my way. Move a little bit across so we have a better shot for next time. And we're going to just go ahead and take out this spider. Uh, let's go ahead, we'll go for the headshot, see if we can save some... Alright, well, I think, that, I think that counts as uh, dealt with. Alright, let's bring our Warhammer forwards. Let's go, let's see, 75s, 50s, and a 45. About the same for the Locust, but I think we can... Do we want to focus on the Locust? You know what, I think we will, because I was going to say we could melee with the Marauder next turn, but we're going to use you to snipe out the 55 gunner. So let's move all the way forwards, see if we can get a lucky shot on the Locust. The odds aren't good, but this thing is poorly armoured. Yeah, in fact, uh, yeah, three quarters of standard is probably not enough to withstand this, so let's go ahead and see what we can do. All right, left arm and... Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Yep, okay, well that's already useful. Receiving you. And so, Angel, what do we want to follow up with for you? Let's go... Nub PPCs. You could possibly get a little bit of... You know what, let's just take care of the Locust. Let's bring you all the way forwards, 45s and 50s. Where do we get the best shots? You know what? 55s and 60s, I suppose that's as good as we can ask for. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll take that. And of course, we do have a little bit of terrain, so at the moment, that mech back there does not have a direct line of sight. So let's go ahead and shoot. But you know what? We only need about 30 damage there, and we could take that out very comfortably. I suppose what we're going to do here then, is we're going to go multi-target instead. We're not going to waste this opportunity. We'll send these snub-nosed PPCs over there. They're only 40% to hit, but that could do some good damage. And uh, a couple of 55s and 60s, I think, should be more than enough to deal with this Locust. So let's go ahead and fire. Confirmed. Alright, so, sensors impaired and all of that, that's always nice. Medium lasers... Let's go! We rolled terribly. Okay, we only needed one of those to hit and we failed epically. That's, uh... That's unfortunate. Alright, Jenna is rotating around. Nothing too surprising there. And... Now what do we do? Alright, let's go ahead and see. Spymaster. I think we'll pull you the full way forwards. Actually... Hmm. That will give us visibility on you, but he's going to get a turn first. And that's not what we want. So let's see if we can move Rannick forwards. Yeah, there we go. Direct line of sight against that mech. That's what we're after. So, let's go ahead and move there. Let's move. Pick up a bit of evasion and cover as well, which is very nice. Let's go ahead and see. We have a griffin. Yep. Large, medium laser... Sorry, large laser and two mediums, as well as that LRM-5 that we saw before. Let's go ahead and see if we can take a headshot there with our UAC-2s. If we're lucky, we might be able to penetrate the armor. 
and take out the pilot. Target acquired. Alright, unfortunately we did not roll both shots to the head, so that thing is still up and running. Standing by. Well, let's bring... Uh, do we go LRMs? You know what? We're gonna go... Hmm. This is an interesting choice here. I think we could possibly fire on the Jenna. We could send the LRMs back to the Griffin, but I think... I think we'll just focus on taking out the Jenna first. So this has already been tagged, so it should go after us instead of the buildings. Keep them distracted. And over here we do have a two, that's right. So we've bumped them down the initiative. So yeah. We're gonna go ahead and move the move our Orion forwards. And I think we'll set back a little bit further. That way when we bring in one of these mechs, they should get the slightly closer ranges to uh, take shots Confirm. on the others. So let's go ahead and set you up there. Let's go ahead and focus you down. Uh, we should be able to do some pretty solid damage against this guy, so... Reporting. All right. Doing nice with that. Mind you, that cover probably kept it alive. All right, Griffin taking shots on our Orion LRM is not the end of the world at all. In fact, uh, that could be useful because he will sit near the back lines at the very at the uh, worst case anyway, which is where he will be super effective. So let's bring on in the the Warhammer. Uh, the Jenna we can probably finish off here. So I suppose that's what we do. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and finish off the Jenna. Warhammer, do your thing. Yeah, this guy is in a real bad way. This should be more than enough. Excellent. Alright, so that's one less problem to deal with. Angel, let's roll you over to the side here. Let's see. 40s and 30s. 55s with the snub nose PPC. You know what? Those odds are fairly terrible. We could get some extra salvage if we take the Griffin parts. So... Uh, do we just use you to focus down the... Focus down the locust. Although, we do actually have some. Yes, almost forgot. Would that be even better? No, I only if we want to fight the griffin, but I think... I think Rannick can probably clean it up on this next turn. So, let's just go ahead and move you around here. Yeah, when we get flanked by the other side, we'll probably want to get you back up and going. So, let's not drop you too far down. Yeah, we're just going to send all of these low percentages at the Locust. We might be lucky Confirmed. and get a stray shot against the Griffin, especially with the Snubnose PPCs. That is possible. So let's target the little Locust at the front and see if we... Yeah, all that we need is three damage. We should have something, so let's go ahead and fire. Confirmed. No retreat. All right. Cool. Target eliminated. That worked up, as we wanted. Alright, hostile contacts all the way down here. That is fine by me, I think. That'll probably be the... Probably be the assault mech, though. Damage minimal. So, realistically, they're probably... Hmm. Yeah, give them a turn or two before they can get within range of any of our buildings. So, let's quickly finish up here with Rannick. Let's bring you... If we fire from where we are... 95s, 85s, and a 70 is particularly good. But if we rotate around... Uh, 85s and those... Alright. We can get ourselves a little bit closer to... A better position to shoot at the other mechs as they come in. So, let's... Yeah, let's, let's roll around Location a little bit further, confirmed. get ourselves close to that road so we can catch up to the fray in the next one. Let's go Precision Strike, find the Griffin, here we go, 35%. Odds are fairly nice, all that we need is 29 damage, so just one of these ER small lasers should be plentiful. And that looks pretty good. Alright. 
pilot out of the way. That's what we want to see. Spy master, we can now get you running right back where we need you. So let's run you. Uh, let's see. Is that the long way around? That does look like a longer way around from the awesome. I think what we'll do here. One, two, hmm. You know what? We're not going to be able to get there in time anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to reserve your turn. Because if we can get that awesome out of the way... Whoopsie daisies. Ah, uh, never mind, that's Angel. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we'll just save it a turn. It's not going to make any difference. Oh, and you know what? There we go. There is the assault mech. That's actually useful information to know. I was thinking... What was our orientation? Yeah, I was thinking they were up over here instead. Turns out I was wrong. So, uh, either way, makes no difference. We can now figure out what we want to do. Let's bring... Uh, let's bring the awesome angel. Yep, let's bring you full sprint that will be necessary let's go we can get eyes on our target down there we might see about Rannick doing something with that but I reckon if we go ahead and sprint all the way over here we'll have some good evasion we might be a good alternative target and see if anyone else is in that area let's move. so let's go ahead and run you up there all right what else have we got we have Yeah, no other signs of anything, which is a little bit annoying. I thought there would be more. Alright, let's bring... Receiving you. Spymaster, do we go ahead and... Rent? I think we do. We don't have any indirect fire over there, so I suppose, yeah, sprinting forwards and uh, taking a better defensive position is more worthwhile than focusing it down that target. Standing by as we can't really do much of anything. So let's run you all the way. We could take a flank and see what we're dealing with. Might also increase our sensor range. Not a bad idea. If we move, we cannot get anything. So yeah, that's what we'll do. Let's bring you... Let's bring you three evasion pips and a little bit of cover, just in case they do decide to shoot at us. If we can mitigate that, that's probably worthwhile. All right. So, what have we got to deal with? We have an Atlas. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, yeah. Uh, definitely got to get take care of that. And I definitely want an Atlas. Yeah, that AC-20 is going to be dangerous. A couple of medium lasers, LRM-20, and another medium laser just to back everything else up. That is... Ooh. That's going to be a tough one. All right. Well, let's go ahead and Order. see. Rannock, how far can we move you and how quickly can we do it? We can bring you all the way up here. We'll have to set you up for next turn, but we're going to have to tank some unfortunate shots. I think we'll go ahead and put you into cover since there's nothing else we can do with you there. Yeah, puts you in a good spot. Evasion, cover, and a good line of sight for the next turn. Unfortunately, that means we're going to have to try and distract this big fellow. So, our master, let's go ahead and... Uh, what do we do? Let's go... Well, we could fire our LRMs. That's probably not the worst idea. Maybe destabilize this fellow a bit. We're not going to burn through his armor quickly, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and... Maybe let's move over here. And yeah, let's use our resolve, I think we'll go. Let's just double check. Love nose PPCs. Could possibly target a leg. Yeah, you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to bring the We're gonna bring Spy Master over here. We're gonna line you up on the target. Position. Confirm. And we're gonna try and blow the leg off this atlas. Can't hold the world on his shoulders if he's lying and rolling around on the floor. So, let's go ahead and precision stri strike. 
That leg is an 89%, which is a jolly good spot to be in. 95 across the board. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. All right. So it seems we did a pretty good job there. Uh, let's go... We move forwards and do the same thing. We have two turns left. Resolve. What's that? 30 apiece. That'll leave us... Yeah, we would have enough for 30 resolve on the beginning of next turn. Although he will get to stand up. Hmm. Uh... You know what? Yeah, let's bring our... Do we want to bring forwards? I'm not sure if we want to bring our Warhammer the entire way forwards. A little bit of... Hang on a second. Let's check out his weapons again. Medium lasers. Three or four of them. SRMs as well. The AC-20. LRMs. Yeah, we're probably within a fairly ideal range for his LRMs right about now. Possibly for SRMs too. They'll be with uh, at least a 50-50, I'd be guessing. Uh, and then those medium lasers, we know they don't mind that. So, uh, what to deal with? Well, let's go. You know what? We're going to have to be here anyway, so we may as well go ahead and get ready. Let's run on up forwards. We'll try and take out the leg. Uh, that is the goal. Maybe we can get a free precision shot with Angel. Or we'll start working out that leg. They have how much internal health? 82. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, and I just realized Spy Master has the full shot mastery. Ah, oh, we should have tried to go for a headshot with him. I. Ah, bother. Oh well, not much we can do about it. Let's go with what we've got now. Uh, we'll go for the right leg again. No, we uh, we stuffed that one up. That's a shame. All right. That's a fairly hefty barrage. And uh, now it's our turn. All right. Uh, Waiting for orders. Angel, do we, do we have any signs of any other enemies? Not at this point. I think the other mech was meant to land around here for the reinforcements. Although maybe I'm completely wrong and I've just got confused. So let's just go... What have we got? Yeah, 32 resolve. We'll get free one next turn. Let's go... Bring you on up in our awesome. We can go precision strike. We get 28 per round, I believe. Yeah, resolve. So that's all that we need. That will be fine. Let's go. Precision strike. And let's target. You know what? Let's target that leg. Maybe we can get it for free with Rennick next turn. Just kind of increase that probability there. That center torso is not going to go anywhere. We're not going to pop off an arm or anything. So no, let's go for the leg. This is going to be the tactical choice. Engaging target. Uh, we did get a free headshot though, so that is useful. Thumbnose PPC doing some good work. Let's see. Uh, Ranak, standing by. How close can we get you? We can go 95s, but we can't get ourselves that extended range small laser into view that is painful yeah 95 across the board though that is very nice so let's go ahead and pick up the cover just in case we are in a spot of bother acknowledged all right let's go precision strike this will bring us down to zero resolve but this is the shot that we're looking for he only needs 29 damage so this is definitely well and truly doable yeah, so let's go ahead and see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, you know, somewhat close to a 50-50 for at least two of them to hit. Affirmative. And we did only get one. Critical hit, Commander. 
Oh, that hurts. Orders. And of course, we've got Spymaster here who can't deal with that now. Oh, that's a game. Oh, dear, dear, dear. All right. Um, what do I want to do? Well, at least I've learned something for next time. We shouldn't have wasted some of those things. Maybe we'll go for a... You know what? It goes last. We're going to go ahead and reserve. We're going to let someone else take a shot. We're going to see if we can get someone else to lop off a leg. Uh, let's go... Here we go, point blank here. In fact, uh, if we rotate around, can we get to that right side of him? And burn through that leg it does not appear so so i suppose we'll just have to slightly favor it yeah 95 across the board i guess it is what it is and we'll see if we can make the guy topple yeah we'll see we'll see if we can destroy this leg it's only got 52 i do have 150 in the center torso the prob probability of all of that hitting fairly minimal so let's see if we can roll a lucky roll. Center. Ah. Nothing going towards that leg. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Ah. This is infuriating. Um. I'm here. Do we do we take some damage to see if we can get this thing? I'm honestly thinking about it. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go ahead and hope that it goes on the warhammer or somebody else we're going to wait for angel to get a turn i know it's a risky maneuver given how much firepower this guy's got but we did destroy a heat sink so he's running a little bit hotter than normal so we can't fire everything like he did last time yeah all right we're gonna we're doing it for the right opportunity we're doing everything we can to try and keep this thing alive but kill the mech in the right kind of way all right and if it costs us a couple of sea bills and repair bills, that is what it is. I can cope with that. Alright, let's bring... Let's bring her forwards there. Yes, this... this Thumbnose PPC should be fairly useful. Also, it's attacking from the right side too, that. so that's going into armor, I would suppose. Uh, we may... Oh no, we're still pretty much attacking from the front. Yeah... Not as ideal. Unfortunately, that center torso is getting rather weak, but I'm not looking forward to that. Let's go. Let's go, and we will use the attack, but we're going to go ahead and drop off. What do we want? That's 100 damage, or 5 of 20s. 5 of 15s, I think. Just given how much pain that they're in, I think we're going to drop some of these medium lasers. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to save some heat. We're going to try and go for stability damage or maybe taking out that leg. Anything that'll give us that precision shot is what we're really after. And unfortunately, this leg here is... What are we looking at? Yeah, we're looking at... 238 health to go through. That's absurd. That's the majority of everything on this mech that's remaining. Yeah. Ah, uh, well... It is what it is. Uh, do we just acknowledge that we're not going to get a full Atlas this turn round? No, we'll go. We'll go ahead and add one extra medium laser, or you know, maybe a, a little bit better percentage. But we're probably going to finish it off with Spy Master anyway. We're just hoping for a headshot, and there it goes. Ah, oh, target neutralized. That hurts. That hurts so badly. Alright, well, at least we now have another 90 ton mech. I really wanted that Atlas. That makes me so sad. Uh, let's bring in... Let's bring in the full way forwards. We'll go ahead and prepare for you. Understood. Moving fast. Just annoying too, because we totally could have had that if I didn't fool around with those precision shots going for the uh, leg. Ready to get it on. I just didn't think about things properly. That is a shame. Alright, well, we can do... We can do just about nothing here as well. Let's go... 
And I suppose we'll just go ahead and move you forwards. And I think we'll brace. We should have to move forwards. We can probably get a good shot on him next time. Could possibly go for a sprint for a little bit closer range. Maybe get some extra ER lasers. Yeah, you know what? No, we're going to sprint. We'll take the cover. I'm really determined to get ourselves that assault mech. Um, yeah, if we're lucky, we'll get two pieces of salvage from that. If we're lucky, but I don't think we will. And, uh, yeah, maybe we can get everything else here. All right, uh, let's go. Let's go ahead and sprint all the way down here. Three evasions, probably good enough. All right, full speed. Yeah, all right here, and then. Let's see, what do we want? We're going to go ahead and sprint you the full way forwards as well. That's a lot of evasion. And so I don't think he'll target us. Oh, that is a Highlander. Very nice. Full throttle. Oh, targeting the building. That's not what we want. Alright, uh, let's see, what has this guy got? PPC, medium lasers, SRMs, and LRM. Okay. Alright, Angel, Good to go. bring you on forwards. Um, also, too, I thought I would mention I'm going to have to start pre-recording a couple of these episodes, unlike usual daily uh, uploads and uh, keeping in contact with all of the comments. I'm, uh, I'm heading out of town for a week, so as of... Well, pretty much as of this video going live... I'm going to have to start recording a bunch of episodes to make sure that you are thoroughly entertained while I am away. So I thought I'd let you know just in case I don't reply to comments as regularly as I would re normally do. Alright, uh, let's bring that awesome forwards. I think... Do we attack this guy? Yeah, you know what? Uh, we're going to go for the headshot. We're just going to turn off this. We'll see if we can destabilize. Yes. Let's hit him hard. We're going for the headshot, so we're not trying to burn this one to a crisp. Standing by. Let's bring Headhunter all the way forwards. 95%. That's what we're after. We have 66 resolve. On the move. If we don't get this, we can probably follow it up with Spymaster, which is what we should have done the last time, but. Ah. Oh well, it is gonna be what it's gonna be. Alright. Can we get this? Hey! All right. Well, enemy down. At least we got ourselves one assault mech. All right, area has been cleared. Green light to land immediately. Successful. Plus side is we also got the we also got the uh, objective, the side objective for having everything alive. So uh, yeah, all the buildings are good. Extra ten percent. There's a little bit of cash. If you do on that. Now we have 1500 XP for everyone. That is nice. Yeah, alright. And we only get three. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't change the salvage agreement. We should have gone for more. Maybe if we're lucky, they'll give us the Atlas bit as a. Uh, as a commiseration for us not taking out that properly. Alright, well, either way, a Highlander, I'm pretty happy with. Highlanders are cool, they can be very nice. So, that's good. Is there any extra bonus weaponry in here? No, uh, just a stinking ton of jump jets and heat sink. So, alright, let's see if they give us the Atlas bit. And, of course, they didn't. Ah, oh, sometimes this game hates me. Alright, well, either way, we got ourselves another assault mech. That's nice. That's just a pity, because I really do love the Atlas. I was so keen to get that. But either way, it is what it is. We're going to have to go ahead and refit this thing at some point. So, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Although, we're definitely going to have to start swapping out some of these other mechs. So, I'm thinking what we're going to do is for our next upgrade for our ship. We're going to go for the third mech bay. Just so we can have a couple of these heavy hitters that we really want to keep. Is cleared for fighting. Yeah. So, uh, Highlander... 733P is a variant of the 733 that removes its auto cannon and replaces it with a PPC. It's also more heat efficient. Okay, well, uh, we're definitely going to keep you around. We want you for sure. So, 
let's go ahead and say what do we want to say goodbye to do we say it's either going to be the kintaro or the shadow hawk we only really need one brawler in the 55 ton class range uh the shadow hawk is really good it has jump jets and whatnot so i'm thinking yeah i'm thinking we're going to say goodbye to the kintaro so let's send you to storage and we will keep the other one. Alright, so in nine days, we're going to start working on our next mech bay. I think that's pretty good as far as uh, options are concerned. Go ahead and give our mech warriors some upgrades. Let's go. Standing by. Angel, we have cold shot bonus. I think we just keep you... We'll just keep you in the uh, gunnery skills. I don't think that's going to be too much of a big deal. We shouldn't be... Uh, yeah. I think I think that'll be fine. Uh, hammer. Nope. Headhunter. That's the one I'm looking for. Not quite. We're going to be able to give you something for either piloting or guts. We'll probably go guts next. Give you that second hulk hip. Uh, we can do nothing. Rabid yeah, is pretty cruisy receiving you and spy master yeah he has that cool shop mastery which we totally should have used but uh i did done and goof it so we shall save you for some we'll probably go with our gunnery skill max that out try and make the most of that cool shop mastery in the future yeah that's uh, definitely what we'll do so now that we've done all that uh before i forget let's quickly go by the store that uh narc does seem fairly good if we can uh, equip that sometime later on so what was it was it the tag uh ballistic and energy weapons no i thought we wanted a nar or did we pass that off at another location oh no there it is a narc beacon that's what we're after uh, we're going to go ahead and add that to our collection. And you know what? Systems available. We have a tag available. Plus 10% damage from the mark as well as extra energy ballistic damage. Hmm. Uh, the bonus 10% damage. You know what? It's only one ton. Let's go ahead and we'll buy that. That could go really well with some of our, uh, like our Warhammer there, or some other bits and bobs that are nice and heavy, lazy, lasery focused. So we'll have that just in case we make ourselves a nice little scouting mech. Uh, but we will see. All right, so back to contracts. Let's see what's going on. We're gonna go and don't have much to do here. It seems we don't really care about the the Capellans. And we're not going to do that at the expense of Nopus. Reconquest here. Pirates, we're not hurting them. We want their availabilities. We could go for a quick assassination. Uh, could go for a little bit of money and make up for what we just spent. Wouldn't be the end of the world. Going against the Capellans, who we're never planning on being friends with. So we do have that option. And then we also have a civilian extraction. That's against Penopus, and so that is not exactly useful. And you guys, planetary government. Yeah, it's only a single uh, skull, so nothing too crazy. It would make them happier. Planetary government, eh, you never know. But you know what, maybe, maybe before we fly off, we might quickly pick up that, uh, that mission, maybe two, just to fill up our... Uh, offers a little bit since we spent some things and then i think from there we'll probably go ahead and start flying out but again we'll use that travel time to refit our mechs so we have something pretty good so uh yes before we do sign out let's quickly go ahead and check what that thing looks like let's see we have where is it awesome quick draw no uh there we are highlander that is a very pretty mech. Here we go. PPC, medium lasers, LRMs. Some pretty good options. Heat sinks and jump jets. Always useful. But uh, yeah, I think this thing's going to become a little bit more tanky 
and who knows what we may do with it. But either way, I'm uh, keen to see what that looks like in the next one. So hopefully you will join me for that. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to catch all future Battletech content. And I will see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.